Hey folks, you've entered the Black Parent Finance YouTube channel where we talk about black money, parenting, and building a legacy for our families in the future. My name is Brian to Owens. I have been working in the finance technology sector for the last five years and uh, have been an entrepreneur, engineer, an author, and a number of other things on my resume. Again, I am a black dad. I have my, my, my wife, Kambari Owens. We have three children and I'm here wanting to build wealth for my family so this is what this channel is all about so if you're a black parent and you're interested in this type of content make sure you like and subscribe and we can knock this out and build wealth together so i wanted to talk a little bit about my journey so again my name is brian towens uh i have i grew up uh in in detroit michigan i'm from detroit michigan area specifically a city called southfield which is about 80 percent black um and you know i went into engineering in college like, i went through the road i'm a millennial uh oh guess you would call say our elder millennial i just turned 40 not too long ago and we were told to go to college uh you know get your degree and everything will be okay right so uh that's essentially what i did we got into a lot of student loan debt i went into engineering when i came out of school it was 2006 and it was just before the financial crisis and and in that time jobs were drying up left and right i had a number of my peers and friends and whatever the case was they were all going like working at starbucks and a number of other places that just you know left them in a situation of like okay i don't know what's next luckily i did find an engineering position i had to move all the way to south dakota in order uh to to find work uh and then obviously you know i started you know traveling around the country with a company called dactronics so that's that's kind of like how does that, that story started off uh, i worked for that company for about five years you know in that span i was laid off in in 2011 and then you know that was something that was the first thing i had ever experienced i was off for about four months or so uh, and then we kind of you know then i started working at ford motor company as an engineer um in in 2012 where i did a number of various kind of roles uh i specifically worked in our manufacturing uh engine engineering area where we kind of the manufacturing arm of building our engines um and, and things of that nature so that that was interesting interesting work um and then i worked from there from oh in in actually kind of back it up i actually started a company with my wife called everbutter we actually develop hair care products for um you know african-american women so we ran that we started that in 2014 that's a whole story in itself of what that was about of starting that getting off the ground we end up scaling that from going from zero units to 75,000 units so per year uh we ran that for about five years uh i stopped working at ford in 2017 and then in 2018 we end up closing um uh everbutter and then even during that time, like we bought our house, uh, I think in 2009 during the financial crisis. So we actually got a humongous deal on that. And I can kind of go into that story if you guys are interested in learning more about that. But um, where we got, you know, like I said, a, 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 a pretty much an amazing steal on our property. Um, and then we end up, um, I, I bought a commercial building in Detroit uh, in 2017 as well. So. You know we pretty much right when i stopped working at ford i bought this building uh and then we start working in our company out of that building and uh kind of went from there we ended up selling that building in 2019 i believe um for a profit uh and then and then we kind of went from there so like I, we actually moved out to california and we can talk about cross-country moves from detroit to california uh, and, and the financial implications and things you need to be prepared for with that. Um, you know, and then, you know, from that point, I, I worked in, in in tech and that's where I got, got into tech. I guess you can call it forward tech, but, you know, this is like actual software tech um, when it comes to, 
you know, building, building applications and things of that nature. So I got into a, a field called product management, um, start working out there for a little while. I got into fintech, which I worked for companies like Zelle, uh, Stash, um, I I Invest, uh, and then Ground Floor Finance, um, you know, which I, you know, previously just, just left not too long ago. So um, in this time, I was able to actually orchestrate two different career breaks. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I particularly talk about is, you know, being able to take that time for yourself while you're still young, right? Like you, you've heard about sabbaticals, you've heard about, uh, uh, you know, some of these various things, I think they call it gap year for, for students. Uh, being able to take this time for yourself is extremely powerful to say, listen, I'm going to work on X project or I'm going to do this thing for me um, and being able to finance that. Uh, right now, I'm on my second sabbatical or career break. Uh, and this is the thing that I, I'm, I'm passionate about and, want to, and care about. So like right now, I am very passionate about helping black parents uh, build uh, financially strong families and, and secure brighter futures for uh, you know, for their children and for themselves. So this is one of the things that I said, this is what I'm going to do during this time, right? Like, and, and you have to figure out like, what is that for you? And what is that, uh, that, that thing? And this is, and I can, again, I can dive into all these topics more if it's interest, you know, kind of going forward. But, um, for me, it was time, it was time to say, listen, I have been doing product management in essentially FinTech companies for the last five years building applications, building, you know, generating, you know, millions in revenue uh, for for some of these companies. And I'm like, you know, it's time for me to do something on my own for myself in the area that I care about. Like, how can I go through and begin uh, going through the challenges that entrepreneurship is, is ultimately going to face? I have done it before and we've had ups and downs and ups and downs. So this is something that I have experience with that um, is also something that you want, you know, make sure you, you, you're prepared for. So, um, so right now, again, I just left my previous company in November um, and it's December now, middle of December ish at the time of this video recording. And he here we are. Right. So, uh, but this is the things that, you know, you know, too many of us, you know, this is one of the things I, I want to talk about a little bit when it comes to this channel, because too many of us were sold this story of retar retirement. We were sold this story of the American dream. We're so sold, sold this story of college. These are lies, man. These are lies. It, it's it's it, it serves a greater purpose, right? And and I'm gonna talk about home ownership on this channel as well, uh, because I've been a homeowner for the last 15 years, and. Um, I've also been a landlord and things of that nature. So like I've done a lot of these various things and, and these are things we can talk about and we can unpack as we, you know, move forward in various uh, topics within the channel. Right. Like, so, um, so yeah, but anyway, that that's one of the things that I definitely want to make sure, you know, we cover. And, you know, like I said, you know, I've, I've been able to do a number of things, for example, you know, when we closed our business, we had about one hundred and twelve thousand dollars worth of debt, right? From two thousand eighteen to two thousand twenty-two, we were to pay off all our consumer debt, right, and and be essentially debt-free when it comes to that. Now I still have student loans, and you know we still have a mortgage or whatnot, but that's my only debt right now. And now we're gonna we're starting to put funds towards those things. How do we clear those things off of our balance sheet? Um, and, and be able to say, hey, listen, all we have is our mortgage or or we're completely debt free. So that's one of the things that we're working towards next and and figuring out how we begin to uh, you know make that work. So um, in addition to that, during that same time, the last five years, I was able to save up enough funds um, in order to take this career break. Right. Like and and that was one of the things that I was I said, you know what? And I haven't, I didn't really realize it before, but like really every five years, I want to take some type of break, right? I worked at the previous company called Dactronics for five years. Now I was let go. That was, a, that was kind of a forced break, but still a break. Uh, uh, Ford, five years again, 
And then I took my, my career break. And then again, last five years, I've been working in product management. And then now I have another career break. So like, how can you orchestrate something like that for yourself? Now, you may not say it's like, it could be seven years, could be 10 years for you, but how can you begin orchestrating these things in order to live your best life, um, you know, to, 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 the, to, the, to, I guess, to the most uh, valuable that you think it is. So that that's one of the things I want to talk about. This is what this, gonna, this channel is going to cover. We're going to dive into deeper discussions when it comes to some of the macroeconomic things that are going on, uh, whether it be high interest rates or uh, Fed Fed rate hikes or or you know or uh, you know I guess hikes or lowering the the Fed federal rates. So like these are things that we're going to talk about. And I'm gonna figure out like how does this impact you as a black parent? That's what I want to care about. Like you know how does this impact you trying to build wealth? How does this impact you trying? I'm like. I am talking from coming from the perspective of a black parent. I have three kids, right? And I want to build a legacy and I want to build wealth for, for our family. And I'm learning as I go and the things that we weren't taught when we, we grew up, right? So this is what I wanted to try to impart in this particular channel because I think things are, it, you know, money knows no color, but the people behind it do. And we have challenges uh, and or opportunities that we're either, uh, you know, that we have to face or we, we we can take advantage of that we can begin to to do this ourselves, right? So I wanted to help be that guide. I've, I've done a number of things, like, like I said. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you're interested in that, like I said, I uh, would love to have you. And uh, this is a little bit my, my story. If there's things inside of this that you want me to unpack a little bit more, put them down in the comments below. I can begin unpacking those with inside of this channel. And then we can we can uh, talk a little bit more. But I'm excited to kind of get down and dirty when it comes to some of these topics, how we can begin to band together and 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 do something powerful as a community. Hey, folks, I just want to thank you for watching the video. Um, and if you enjoyed this content, make sure you like and subscribe. The video is going to help us tremendously when we're actually going through and going through the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to know, I also have a, a, a club that helps black parents with personal finance and actually achieve their goals called the Pumpernickel Club that you can check out inside the description below. Um, if you're interested. So again, like and subscribe, check out the Pumpernickel Club and we can we can uh, build wealth together.